Hello and welcome to Wound Up. Corey Bernardi has been back in the news and not just for the controversial content of his new book, The Conservative Revolution, but also for the spectacular response that the book has had first on social media and then as humorous reviews started flooding into Amazon.com, readers obviously not having read the book. Now all this has been a little bit harsh on poor old Corey, I mean all he was trying to do after all was to force his outdated 20th century right wing conservative square value beg into 21st century society's round hole. No doubt there are people out there who draw comfort from Corey's values, perhaps there are some people that could even learn a thing or two from his pearls of wisdom. I started thinking why not then have an Ask Corey segment on Wound Up? Well, I guess the answer is because Corey Bernardi would never appear on Wound Up, but there are always ways and means around these things. And now it's time for Ask Corey. Corey Bernardi, it's a pleasure to have you here on Wound Up. Thank you, Scott. A great pleasure to be here. Okay, Corey. I've had a look at social media at Twitter and I've got some suitable questions here for you. You'll have to excuse the recycled paper um, on a bit of a tight budget here. That's actually Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata on the back. Now, Corey, your first question, or actually this is a, a comment, but I'd still like you to comment on it nevertheless. From Upgrade Your Rage, Dear Corey, I won't waste words on my father. Stepfather's contribution to social development of self and siblings, priceless. Perhaps not priceless, more like discounted or reduced clear. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Um, from Amy Marie, dear Corey, I have one sister and two half siblings. We are best mates, tight knit, and my stepdad and mum are 18 years strong. Are we legit? Of course you're legit. In the same sense that Aldi is a legit supermarket compared to the David Jones food hall. Well, harsh but fair. From Lindley. Dear Corey, I smack my cat's bum, and I also go out and smack the bum of other cats. Is that wrong? Absolutely not. Punishment is the way to really understand what conservative values are all about, and the sooner your cat and neighbouring cats understand this, the better. Okay, alright. Th thanks, Corey. From Fifi Fiona, ask Corey, hey, what came first, the douche or the turd? Well, I believe that first came God, then the turd, and then after the turd came the douche. All right. Thank you very much, Corey. Ben Pobji writes, Dear Corey, I ache for your touch. Every night I see your rippling back float before my eyes. He, uh, he, he said that? Uh, okay. Look, some things are best left private. Next. Okay, let's let's move right along. Oh, this one from myself. Corey, if I slept with Mickey Mouse's dog, would that be a plutonic relationship? Oh, look, any relations between a man and a cartoon character is a fast track to social chaos. When those characters are Disney characters, it's an abomination. Right, okay, well, yeah, those Disney characters are a bit straight. From Gus Face Redox. What exactly is doggy style? Oh, that's a trick question. <laughs> As a sexual position, though, between gold standard husband and wife, it offers the added advantage in that the husband can continue reading my book aloud to the wife to maximise enjoyment whilst also ensuring the conception of a conservative child. Okay, that's a relief. Thank you very much, Corey. Mark Travers tweets. Is IVF a slippery slope to bestiality? Well, I don't know about slippery, Scott, but it certainly can be messy if it's not done properly. Ooh, yeah, I can imagine it would be a bit. Uh, from Ella, I thought I was making my coffee the right way, but thought I'd check with you as you know all. How to do it right? Oh, you know, I get asked this question quite a lot, and really there's only one way to do it, and that's straight white. Right, probably should have seen that coming. Thank you, Corey. From Panadol, ask Corey, I have I like big butts as my ringtone. Am I going to hell? <laughs> no, 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 of course not. No, you're not going to hell. 
but whoever performed that filth is. She'll be relieved to hear that, no doubt. Thank you, Corey. From Kate in Oz. Why doesn't Corey ever bring his happy-go-lucky, devil-may-care attitude to work with him? Come on, is she kidding me? Look at this smile. But seriously, saving the world is no laughing matter. And if I went round laughing all day, do you think people would take me seriously? It is a very, very good smile. From Lee Skelton. Is Corey taking a hypocritical stance on bestiality? Has he ever kissed a pussy? Oh, Scott, there's another trick question. I'm awake to them, though. Look, I used to kiss the family pussy until my mother told me they licked their bottoms. I'd heard that, too. They do. From Kate Giles. Ask Corey if, if he would like to officiate at my friend's wedding. Oh, I'd be honoured. Gay wedding. I'm busy. Adopted kids. Very busy. Both parties from split families. And out of town. Corey Bernardi, that's all we've got time for. Thank you very much. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. And thanks very much for those people for taking the time to, to send those questions in to me. Keep them coming. And join us next time when we ask Corey. There's a significant event that's taking place in March of this year. It's not my 50th birthday, which coincidentally is on March the 22nd of, of this year, just in case you wondered. No, this is March in March. This march is a symbolic vote of no confidence in the Abbott government. The march is taking place in all major cities around Australia, so you will have a chance to get involved. You can follow these guys on Twitter. You can like them on Facebook. Just search March in March. Now, what are we marching for? I hear you ask. Very good question. Marching for a lot of reasons. We're marching against the changes to the NBN. If you remember, we were going to have 21st century broadband service to deliver to every Australian house. No longer the case. We're marching for asylum seekers and against the secrecy that surrounds the boat arrivals. We're marching against the threats to Gonski. We're marching against the lies and broken promises of the Abbott government. We're marching against the threats to Medicare and we're marching in support of your ABC. We're marching for the preservation of marine parks and of world heritage protection of Tasmania's forests. We're marching for action on climate change and we're marching for the preservation of the NDIS. We may even just march for the exercise and the fun of it. The question is though, will you march in March? Will you join us? For Independent Australia, that's all from Wound Up. Until next time, maintain the rage.